How are percent problems related to proportional reasoning? Think about this question during the lesson. In science class, students compared their vertical reach and height to see if they are proportional. Maria is 60 inches tall and can reach 75 inches high. What percent of her total vertical reach is her height? First, let's use our data to make a bar diagram. Then we can use proportional reasoning to develop the percent equation. Maria's vertical reach will be the whole. It is 100%. Her height will be the part. So, how do you know which quantity is the whole and which is the part in this situation? The problem asks what percent height is of the vertical reach. So, height is a part of the vertical reach. Now we can use the bar diagram to develop the percent equation. The ratio P to 100 is equivalent to part to whole. Since percent is a ratio to 100, we can write part to whole is equal to percent. If we multiply both sides of the equation by the quantity whole, we get a useful equation where part is equal to percent times whole. How is this equation similar to a proportion? The percent is a constant of proportionality that relates a part to the whole. The equation has the same form as the proportion y equals m times x. The part is like y, the whole is like x, and the percent is like m, the constant of proportionality that relates the two quantities. Now that we have an equation, substitute the quantities in this problem situation. So height is equal to percent times vertical reach. We can use the data we know to solve the percent equation. Maria's height is 60 inches, which is equal to percent, or P, times Maria's vertical reach of 75 inches. Use inverse operations to solve for P. 60 75ths is equal to P times 75 over 75. So 80 hundredths is equal to P. How do you write 80 hundredths as a percent? Select your answer. To represent the decimal as a percent, multiply by 100 and add the percent symbol. Maria's height is 80% of her total vertical reach. Now you have an equation to use proportional reasoning when solving percent problems. An elephant weighs 15,000 pounds on Earth and 2,500 pounds on the moon. Assuming the weights are proportional, what percent of its weight on Earth is its weight on the moon? So we put the 2500 here equals percent times 15,000. Then we put 2500 over the 15,000 because we are dividing by the 15,000 on both sides so that, because that's the inverse of multiplication. And I want to get P by itself, so that's going to cancel out and we're left with P. And then 2500 divided by 15,000 is going to be. 0 0.167 and it's actually a repeating couple of sixes and then seven so I kind of rounded that to 0 0.167 and so the percentage 
of the weight on Earth would be about 17% if we're rounding to the nearest tenth percent. Many states have a meal tax that is proportional to the total spent on food and beverage. In one state, the meal tax is 8 and 44 hundredths percent. How much tax will a customer pay if the food and beverages total is $54? Let's look at the bar diagram to write a percent equation. So they have our taxes uh, showing the little bar, 8.14% compared to 100%. Then we have our total food and beverage, that's the 100%. Then we have tax percent bill TB 8.44 and 0 0.844 that we have to fill in to the word equation. and the uh, algebraic equation. So let's see where this all fits. So here are our words. Are they in the correct space? That's what we're trying to figure out. And so it should be the same way we have it. And then the algebraic, the T would stand for that tax. Uh, the percent is going to be the 0.0844% because we have to make that a percent over 100. So it, it conforms to this. And then times the bill, whatever the bill is. Okay. So here it tells us part equals percent times the whole. Let's look at this hint. Express the percent as a decimal. So let's move on. It shows us right here. Uh, if first was the 8.44 percent, then they put it over 100 and it changes to uh, the 0.0844%, you multiply that together with the 54, because the total was $54, and you get your tax at 4.5576, so $4.56 in tax. Lucia earns a 5.5% commission on the selling price of each home she sells. She earned $9,020 in commission on the sale of a home. What was the selling price of the home? Lucia earns a 5.5%. So here is a bar graph showing the commission, which is 5.5%. The selling price is 100%. C is for the commission, and H is for the selling price of the whole. Part equals percent times whole. We saw that in the previous examples. Part is the commission. The percent is the 5.5% times the H, which is the selling price of the whole. The commission, they told us up here, was $9,020. is equal to 0 and 0 0.50. The five thousandths times H, which is the selling price of the home. So, so we're going to take the 0 0.055 and divide it on both sides so that we can uh, get H by itself. Um, and so this will cancel out. And then we're going to divide that and it gives us 164,000 as the price of that home. And that's it. We have here the try it to make a profit. A clothing store sells board shorts at 115% of the amount that paid for them. How much did the store pay for the board shorts shown? So we see here that the shorts are $28. So we're going to write that percent 
part uh, equation. So we have part is equal to uh, percent times the whole. So <clears throat> the percent is 115% and uh, let's see, I closed them for sure. It's 100, but they pay for them. So they pay for them at $28. So that's that part. And then the price of the shorts that they're selling for is what we don't know. So now we take that 115% and we want it out of 100%. So remember, we take the 115% put it over 100 and we're going to divide it so it gives us a decimal um, so we have 115 divided by 100 is equal to 1 and 15 hundredths times uh, how much the whole about whole amount of the price of the shorts and then $28 uh, that they pay for it then we want to divide both sides by the one and fifteen hundredths so that we get the w by itself so this will be w is equal to this will cancel out w is by itself and then 28 uh, divided by one and one fifteenth is going to be a long decimal 24 and 3 4 seven eight two six one however we want it in dollar about so dollar amount is to the nearest hundredth so i look next door i have a seven next to the four so that becomes down here total amount that they sell it for is twenty four dollars and thirty five cents okay Thank you.